And we are following policies in this country now to stimulate things which stimulate business, which are bound to have some inflationary consequences. And to the extent that we borrow money from the rest of the world, it would be very human on the part of, of politicians in the future to decide that they would rather pay the rest of the world back in dollars that are worth far less than the dollars they borrowed. I mean, it's the, it's the classic way of reducing the impact and cost of external debt, and we're building up a lot of external debt. I always find it interesting when politicians now talk about using the taxpayers' money to do this and the taxpayers' money to do that and how the taxpayers are paying the bonuses at AIG. We haven't raised taxes at all in this country. You know, I mean, taxpayers are paying nothing beyond what they were paying a couple of years ago. As a matter of fact, the federal revenues this year, which were close to 2.6 trillion a couple of years ago, you know, maybe more like 2.3 trillion. So we are taking less money from the taxpayers. The people who are really paying for the things we're doing now will probably be the people who are buying fixed dollar investments much of it from the U.S. government, and who will find the purchasing power when they go to redeem those investments to be far less. So you can you might say that that the AIG bonus is probably the Chinese have, are, are the people that are ultimately paying the most in terms of the loss of purchasing power they will have with their with their holdings of government bonds, U.S. government bonds, many years down the road. But it sounds better to say the taxpayer than to say the Chinese are paying for it. It's an interesting situation. I read that comment every day about how the taxpayers are doing this and that. And I haven't had my taxes raised. You haven't had your taxes raised. They're giving me 250 bucks back here pretty soon. Uh, yet the taxpayers haven't paid anything so far. And my guess is that the ultimate price of much of this will be paid by a shrinkage in the value of the real value of fixed dollar investments down the road. Uh, and that will be the easiest thing to do. And if it's the easiest thing to do, it's the most likely thing to have happen. So you will see plenty of inflation. Now, the best protection against inflation is your own earning power. That the AIG bonus is probably the Chinese have, are, are the people that are ultimately paying the most in terms of the loss of purchasing power they will have with their, with their holdings of government bonds, U.S. government bonds many years down the road. But it sounds better to say the taxpayer than to say the Chinese are paying for it.